you guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Going to break down uh, LaGrange by ZZ Top. Uh, I've taught this one in the past, but, you know, want to get a little bit more accurate on that little quiet intro and just, you know, give a newer version. The grayer version, I guess you could say. But anyway, I appreciate your support here at Marty Music, you know, subscribing here to the YouTube channel. And then I've got free courses at my website, martymusic.com. You can check out all kinds of killer stuff in the uh, description below, all those links. Appreciate that. Thank you. Let's go. All right, we're going to start with this one finger A power chord or A5 chord. So my index is covering that second fret D and G. Um, I'm going to start... I mean, you know, you could be holding a pick or whatever, starting with the fingers. And so that first little thing I did there was I'm just using my middle and ring finger to pinch the D and G there. Just like that. Now that's going to stay for the... That just stays. So check it out. So now the thumb is going to alternate with that open A, and then your pinky is going to hit that fifth fret D, but then it's immediately going to hop over to the fifth fret G, but you're still doing that same pinching there. And when you do the fifth fret G, you give it a little bend. So check it out. So I went A, ba, boom, ba. And so that's thumb, pinch, thumb, pinch. you know, two times on that. So from the top. Okay, from there it goes to the main riff, which is now a variation, but still based on the one finger A5 chord. So we could call this the main riff now. It's the one where the overdrive kicks in. It's the A5 still. So I'm playing the full. And then ba ba, which would be the third fret A string. And then up to the fifth fret on the A string, ring, pinky, whatever you can use. So if you wanted to continue to use your fingers, you could. I like the pick when it comes to, to this part. Now, if I play it kind of like full tempo, Now the, the, that jam, that first guitar solo, it's basically the main riff, but it goes up to C. So you can play it right here. With the power chords. Uh, 
So, like, that lick, for instance, I just did there, which is not the exact lick from the song, but... The beat, classic B bend from the seventh up to the root, so I was bending uh, the 11th fret. But you look at the C blues scale. And then the classic E minor pentatonic extended run. It's not really in the lower range in the solo, but... And so within that little extended or extension of the C minor pentatonic, you've got this spot right here. And it's just right from that little slide transition. And so you're sliding up with your ring finger up to the uh, 12th fret on the G string, and then your middle finger's on the 11th fret of the B string, and you're going, boo da 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 you know, and alternating with your fingers. And then you slide back down to 10, and you're in that. And then classic blues licks all the way. You know, if I was performing this song, I wouldn't want to play the exact solo from that recording. I would take my own solo, you know, blues, blues style, blues, blues rock style solo. Okay, so out of that, it goes to this really cool... into the original, more quiet intro. So that bridge is uh, comes from a blues turnaround. That kind of thing. Um, so I'm using my pinky to just plant that on the, that A note there. And then I'm gonna be alternating between fifth fret on the D, fourth fret on the D, third fret on the D, and then into this A power chord, into, let's see, I have to do it from the... Three, four on the A string, holding that. Into it. Making sure you hear that second fret G string. Uh.
over exaggerating. But if you wanted to just, if you were playing this with your band and you wanted to do a cover and you wanted to get some of those uh, Billy Gibbons pinch harmonic things in there, like I was just over exaggerating, choke up on the pick. So you're getting the meat of your, there we go, that's a good image. It's almost like you're picking with your thumb. You're definitely getting the pick in there, but it's with your, the meat. Okay, so without touching anything, let's see if I can just see that, how the pick is just barely, just, just poking out. So it's like choking up on the baseball bat, you know, you choke up on that pick and that's how you get some of that. And all that solo at the end, and if the song fades out, A blues, A blues. So anything I was talking about in that C, at the end there, it's an A, so it'd be. So to recap, You've basically got the little quiet finger intro. Into the... Into the full-blown... into the jam, which is in C. Into the bridge. Into the quiet intro again. Hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. Really appreciate your uh, support, continued support. Uh, if you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing here to the YouTube channel, Marty Music YouTube channel. And then if you're trying to just get better at guitar, I have step-by-step -step courses. Uh, I also have some free step-by-step -step courses all at martymusic.com. So uh, the description box down below I've got killer links to that stuff and a bunch of other great helpful resources. And I appreciate it. That's it, hope, hope to see you again, take care.